I was born November 16, 1943, and I was the baby of the family and the one and only one born in the hospital. My dad's name was uh, Aloysius Ulorn, and mother was Scholastica. She didn't like that name, so she, they called her Clista. She was a Duma. Okay, the oldest one is Cletus. He was the undertaker here for a long time. And after Cletus was Rita, she, Rita Forsman, she married Mark Forsman. After Rita is Edna, she was married to Walt Ruhoff. Then there was Gerald, and after Gerald was Irma. Irma married to Don Tacky. And after that came Jane, and Jane was married to Don Haney. And then after that, um, the twins, Sister Angela and Vern. And uh, that was the second set of twins that Mother had. She had a, a set of twins, John and Mary. They died at birth. Then there was Morris Ulorn. Then after Morris came Sister Cecile. And after Cecile, it was Sally, and then it was me. And I think Mother decided that was it. I don't know if she told Dad or Dad told her. Well, I kind of got my way quite a bit because I was the youngest. <laughs> when you're the youngest of 12, you've been, you're taken care of by an awful lot of the siblings. When Verna Morris both got out of, the, out, out of high school, got married, Morris wasn't married then yet, but they decided to have a milking parlor and they milked cattle and sold milk. I learned how to, to herd cattle because we herded the, herded the milking, the milk cows and stuff on the road because we had those old roads out there and we'd, so we'd sit out there and I was usually the little one and I had to uh, bring corsages from one to the other and I, I always had to go through the cows because the, that was the way it was. I mean, I was a messenger person and they kept the roads cleaned off. And they'd make corsages. And then Myrna and I'll bring, about, bring this over to Betty. And so then I had to go through the cows and bring it to Betty, and Betty would have one ready for me to bring to Sally. So we were herded cows all summer long because the milk cows uh, just ate off the roads all the time. Well, we sing, we are a singing family because mother was a singer and when we did dishes, if we weren't singing, we were arguing. And so Mother said, let's hear you sing when we did the dishes. And she'd sit in a rocking chair and she'd just rock and rock and rock. Yeah, 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 that's the way to go. That's the way to go. <laughs> but we were a singing family. We all sang. Mostly hymns, because we were all in the choir and we would practice the high mass. We just loved music. We lived for music. We played more games because there was a big family, you know, and uh, we had, uh, it was a basement, main floor, and, and then another floor, and we played going to heaven. And somebody had a button, and if you picked the hand it was in, you got to move up. If you didn't, well then you either stayed there, or, and whoever got to go to heaven, then they were in, and they could Andy over. We played that a lot. Darn it, broke a few windows. We never did, though. I went to school in Ferdinand. It was the last to graduate. We had, not, uh, we had eight people in our class when we graduated, four boys and four girls. Mr. Kreuss was our teacher. He was our superintendent. And uh, I was taught by the sisters in the grade school. I graduated from Ferdinand High School as a salutatorian in 1961. And I had Willard Lawrence was in my grade, Lee Uling was in my grade, Ted Gertner was in my grade, and, um, and Celine Croyce was the principal's daughter, and Betty Fry and Darlene Schwartz. We closed the school. Ferdinand High School, Ferdinand High School, here's for you we pray. In our hearts, oh, Ferdinand High School, dearer every day. Ra, ra, ra. <laughs> and it goes on. <laughs> I met George and uh, because he was working for Gerald because Gerald 
had a car wreck. He fell, went into the sewer pond and he needed help, so George was hired to come up and help him. And then he started uh, being into the Ullars. He was the type of person that I wanted to be married to. Very happy, told jokes all the time, never could, never could uh, find anything wrong with anybody. Good Catholic, and that was, and I was the last one to marry in my family of 12. He just says, don't you, wanna, don't you wanna get married? And I says, you're dang right, I was waiting for you. <laughs> I got married in 1963 on October the 5th. And it was a beautiful day. It was sunshiny, no snow yet or anything. Everything was just beautiful. Okay, Diane was born in 1964. Ronnie was born in 1965. Ronnie, her name was Veronica, but we call her Ronnie. And then Georgie was born the next year. And then Bill was born the next year. And Mike was born the next year. And we became a happy little family. That was the best part of my life, was being, being a mother. I've always wanted to be a mother, always, always. And I never went to college, so I just, just got married right out of high school. My brother Cletus owned that, mode. it was called the Mode Theater. And whenever we went to a show, we got in for nothing. I was too young yet to work at the things, but. Irma and Jane did popcorn and sold tickets and things like that. And usher, they had an usher at one time. Then pretty soon they didn't do that. But, uh, and uh, then we ended up living in the apartment above the theater. From the theater, we, we lived across the street from the post office in the Ed Haney house. And then we took that house and we moved it up to the ranch. In 67, we moved up to the ranch. We bought it from Harry Schmick, S-C-H-M-I-C-K. Then we started, uh, what do you call that with steers? Buying them young and, and when they were old enough to be butchered and stuff, well then we'd sell them. And, and uh, George's dad, Steve, loved this. We'd sit at the sale to buy steers and he'd sleep most of the time and so then I would buy the steers. But he loved going down there, so him and I would always, I didn't want to drive to Lewiston by myself anyway and buy steers. And we'd come home and tell George, well, we got five more, or we got 10 more. And uh, so that's what we did. We backgrounded steers for quite a, till George died. George worked full time at Lewiston Grain Growers. So I was up at the ranch and uh, had kids and we had pigs and we had uh, cattle. And thanks to his dad, Steve Gearing, he taught me how to milk. So then when I started milking, we had one milk cow. When I started milking, George caught two other cows and said, well, if you know how to milk and I don't have to do it in the middle of the night, when I get home, we'll just get a few more cows. So then we sold milk in Cottonwood and I did the feeding. We put the cattle out at night and then they'd come in and eat and then we'd put them out at night again so that they wouldn't mess up the, where, we, where we fed, you know. And uh, when the, the kids got older, they, they really pitched in and helped. My kids were quite the workers. They really, they, they learned how to work from their dad. Now our ranch now is Westlake and Morrowtown. I mean, we, we owned all the land up there. George was a guy that was, he kept a lot to himself. And, and when he was sick, he did not want to admit he was sick. Doctors up here said, you go on to list and there's something pretty bad about this. And, uh, I stayed down there with him. I slept on the floor right beside him uh, in the hallway. Now they have places where you could sleep when you're down there, but I was not going to let him be by himself. 
it was a three month battle and then he died of leukemia. He died in January 1997. And then now we buried him in Morrowtown because that's just down across the road from where we lived on the ranch. I, I went to work at the hospital to keep money going, you know, because George was dead. And uh, I was uh, one of the workers and the dietary manager of St. Mary's Hospital. But, uh, and I just about joined the convent one time. Betty and her sister Cecile and Sister Angela, they just knew that I had to be a sister. And I said, no, I want to have kids because I always wanted kids, always loved kids. That's the best thing in my life. Because I did it. I made them, you know. <laughs> They're mine. I have 13 grandchildren, and I love them dearly. They are the, the light of my life. Trusting thy gentle 